always wanted to do something like have a little shop of some sort. Oh yeah, no little scoops here. Polly's is just, I mean, it's, it's the place for us. Beach town. We, we love it here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's small town, it's community, it's, you know, our customers that come in are just great. They've supported yeah. us from day one. Delicious. Most people are ice cream people, but mother-daughter duo one. Debbie and Angela Gilbert. We went to school to learn how to make ice cream. Live, breathe, and eat. Scoop school. school. Ice cream. I think ice cream makes people happy. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it, a fun, it's a fun dessert. It's delicious. It's fun to make. Yeah. Um, and it changes constantly. It's yeah. never the same. The ice cream effect inspired the duo to leave their jobs in Maryland to open Gilbert's. They've been making sweet smiles since May 2017. Thank we've you. made over 150 flavors so far, and we've only yeah. been open for two years. So where do you come up with these flavors? Do they come to you in a dream? Like, sometimes, sometimes yeah. yeah. <laughs> sometimes at nighttime, we're sitting there like, oh, that would be good. Or you'll see something on TV, and you'll think, oh, that'd be good in an ice cream. Yeah, you're eating a dessert, yeah. and you're like, that would make a great ice cream flavor. Yeah. This is from North Carolina. All ice creams start here. And it's just cream and sugar. From scratch in the back. It is a graham cracker ice cream. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is add two ounces of vanilla, and then we're going to add our graham cracker to the ice cream in the machine. It's their creamy research facility. If you put too much, it'll be crumbly. If you put too little, it won't taste enough like graham crackers. The best ice creams like Gilbert S'mores and most popular Butter Pecan were perfected back here. But other batches are left in the Gilbert's history books. Candy, candy, <laughs> corn. candy corn. Oh no, it was a disaster. <laughs> the hands-on Gilbert homemade touch might be what makes their ice creams irresistible. We want to make real cake. We want to make our own cookies that go in. We make whoopie pie ice cream that we actually make the whoopie pies and put it in there. Or maybe the irresistibility comes from the love in every hand-spun shake and scoop carefully crafted for each sweet tooth. I think it's funny when a lot of them come in and they expect their favorite flavor to be here. Like, yeah. do you have cotton candy today? Do you have, you know, Cookie Monster? Where's mm -hmm. this? When's this gonna be back? Yep. It's funny because some of them come up with ideas of flavors that they'd like. And when we make it and then they come in and they see that it's there, they're oh, like, yeah. they feel like a celebrity, like they, they made that flavor. <laughs> the Gilbert teamwork is making this dream work. She puts a flavor to the face, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember names, but I can remember what that would be a compliment. <laughs> That's a compliment. <laughs> the smiles are all in the family here. Being able to make this memory with my mom, which I know many people don't get to do, so like I cherish that a lot. If you stop in, you'll see why a new Polly's Island tradition is churning to keep you coming back. I think that's going to be the most reward for me, is to see it pass on. And hopefully it'll be around for a long time.